Today I went out to Makaha and inadvertently found the best kept surfing art secret on the west side. In the Makaha marketplace there's an extraordinary but hidden art gallery. Welcome to First Weekend Art Gallery. I'm only open on the first weekend of the month, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but by appointment as well. And the hours 10 to 6 p.m. For those that haven't been here before, I'm on the end of the road in Makaha Valley. We're, we're a little bit of a hole in the wall so it's a little difficult to see us but once you get here to the Makaha marketplace look for our sign and our door and once you enter then you enter a whole new world of Hawaiiana and surfing collectibles. I was born and raised in Reno, Nevada but uh, left there at an early age and joined the military and my first stationing was in Hawaii at Schofield Barracks and ever since then I always had the desire to, to return here and, and uh, live the rest of my life. So I was fortunate to retire from the military after 27 years and here I am. Here we are where I have my uh, original artwork. Uh, not work that I've done but work of famous artists from Hawaii and well known. As shown here this is uh, Joseph Pimentel. He is the uh, famous uh, uh, artist who did uh, Honolulu Stadium. This piece here is from Madge Tennant and Peter Hayward. Frank Oda, David Lee, many others in the original format. I also have uh, prints and reproductions for those uh, on a more budget conscious uh, mindset. In the gallery, I have pieces that date from the late 1700s all the way to present day, uh, including art, books, paper items, which are also called ephemera, posters, uh, and uh, novelty items. Some of the items are very rare, as is this Snoopy poster. It's like it was printed yesterday. This poster is from 1958. We have artwork from various uh, artists in Hawaii. From this wall, this is predominantly my surfing posters and surfing art and surfing collectibles. Uh, some of which is very rare and uh, very unique. Probably one of the best surf poster collections in the island, if not uh, in the United States. Now on the smaller scale, I have uh, items uh, of ephemera, everything from photos to booklets to uh, lobby cards for movies and uh, old advertisements like this Hawaiian Punch uh, film sale to uh, photographs going back to in Hawaii to the mid to late 1800s. We have novelty items here at the First Weekend Art Gallery. Uh, shown here, ukuleles, uh, hula dolls from the 30s, books and collectibles of all kinds. And although it looks like a museum in here and a lot of people think when they visit here that I'm a museum or a uh, regional art gallery, everything is for sale. I also have a number of uh, Hawaiian royalty items. Everyone gets a kick when they come to the store when they see my hula hula shelf. Shown here a number of uh, uh, hula items from the tourist uh, 50s era of Hawaii. Little knotters. Some you've seen even on, on uh, movies and some say that this reminds them of Rel Sun's house who was an avid collector of Hawaiiana and surfing collectibles. We have a great selection of books for your viewing pleasure and purchase as well. Shown here are books for, that date from when Hawaii was called the Sandwich Islands. Books and reference material that go back to 1784. Every store should have a bargain basement area and that's where we're at right now. Slow moving merchandise, fun stuff, huge discount, items that are well priced for the savvy buyer. The first week in Art Gallery is a, 
a small store of only 800 square feet, but fortunately I've taken advantage of the high, uh, high ceilings and have uh, art uh, positioned all over the walls and have even positioned uh, art uh, on the ceiling. Well, it's a long trip out here to Makaha to visit the gallery, but I think as you've seen, it will be worth your, your time. Along with visiting this beautiful gallery, you've got the beautiful beaches of the Waianae Coast and uh, the scenery that uh, is incomparable to the rest of Oahu.